that possesses a man controls a man. He that the man possesses, he controls. Today we have lots of people who are possessed by demons. A man will wake up in the morning and have no affection for his wife. And he will divorce his wife for no reasons. Something has possessed him. Oh, whatsoever that possesses you controls you. That is what we call alcoholic possession. Alcohol is a spirit. That's why in the real definition of alcohol it is called spirit. Don't you know that most people that have gone insane did broke. When they did broke, the reins of darkness are opened and they begin to see demons. They begin to see people on the off of the underworld. They will be interacting with creatures and you say they are insane. No, they are not insane. It is just that they are talking to something you don't see. Only them see them. Ah, they receive a certain energy that you can't explain. They are look at tearing. And you say they can't get weak. You don't know why. Because certain power has possessed them. You think that those communities that are perishing are uh, just perishing for no reasons. You see children on that drugs. You see fathers rebelling against their families. You see children growing with that father. Ayako Mahadaba. Broken marriages. Depression. Suicide mission. Drunkenness. You think people drink because they want to drink. Some things have invaded their minds. You see a man will commit suicide and die for no reasons. Let me tell you something. Satan is after him. Humanity. If you don't wake up, that thing that is attacking your mind is Satan, is a spirit. And let nobody tell you that demons don't exist because they literally exist through your anger, your depression, your insecurity, your, your complexes, your issues, the disease, the cancer, the separation, the no attraction that you're losing for your spouses. Something is working inside you that you don't understand. The Bible says, casting down every imagination and every thought and every knowledge that rises against the knowledge of God for the weapons of our warfare and what can harm they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds 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 rulers of the mind rulers of human imaginations rulers of my mind actions orgies now what are we looking at here is a war against powers is a war against principalities is a battle against rulers it is a battle against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places sons of god you are not born again to sing unto god you are not born again to just read your bible you are not born again to just feel the holy ghost you're not born again to dance holy ghost dancer you are born again to engage into a spiritual warfare against principalities powers rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places now we have entered the time that if you are not spiritual if you're not rising in the reins of a son of god you will be swept away like never before